guys! Welcome to No David Simulator. Today I bought three cars. Check them out. Here's one. Kevin, which one do you pick? Which one are these cars? Which one do you pick? Which one Jason picks? This is gonna be one for Vanessa. This one. Well, I like this one. Okay, this is for Jason and that's that's for Kevin. It looks so cool in here. It looks so cool. It does? нашел so we get treasure <laughs> oh look at that huh oh, we oh, treasure Other trash and put in a different car. Let me see here. Where is the trash? There's another. There's another. There's a third row seats. Look. Wow. Cool. And this is the Nissan. Cool. Awesome. Let's see. Pull the seat forward. I think it needs that. Look. Look. Seats. Yes. Wow. Seats. Oh my goodness, this is awesome! This is what we're gonna fix for our family. Look at that. No, this is nice. You like this? This is awesome. Oh, you got quarters? Cool, that's yours. You could keep them. <laughs> if you find any money, you could keep the money. I know how to. What's this? What's this? It's awesome. It's so big. Давай. Все, поживем. Money is. Классно, да? Да, все супер. Тут и каргу, видишh? All the seats go down, 
So you could have all this cargo space. You could bring a Christmas tree home. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that! That's a DVD player on top! Wow! Oh my goodness! Wait. Whoa! A TV! This is a DVD player! A TV! Look! Oh yes! And right here you put the DVDs. Oh yes! And look, there's a charger. Oh yes! This thing's making me amazed. This is awesome! Yes! Gonna be a car for you. Oh. Perfect family soccer mom yeah. car. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. They were making this till 2010. This is fourth generation Ford Explorer. Till 2010. So this is 2006, but they made it to 2010. So wow. it's still fresh, yeah. fresh car. So looks like a Tesla car. So that's nice. Okay, let's go. Come here. Right this way. So this is going to be a 2010 parts car. So the engine does not start on this one. Oh my goodness. Somebody... It's it stinks in here, yeah. It stinks like somebody threw up. Dude, yeah, somebody, somebody, somebody did throw up. Because there's an accident, so they got they threw up. So weird. I love you, baby. Nice cool. I love you. Yeah. Well, it starts. I just Oh. That was a case show. Let's start it again. Hit some gas, Kevin. <laughs> wow, Kevin, good. You got it started. So it looks like the the wheels are too close. So this is a good car. We're gonna fix this one. It's a cute little car, huh? You like it? <laughs> so no money, no money. <laughs> Well, to drive it, we need to remove some of these parts because everything seems to scratch over here, you see? Kevin, yeah, turn the steering wheel to the left, turn it to the right. Okay, no more. Turn it this way. Okay, don't turn it anymore, just leave it straight. That's what you call a run and drive. <laughs> that starts, but it does not run and drive. You cannot drive this anymore. Everything's messed up. Don't turn it anymore, Kevin, because I think it's hitting the bell. Well, it still works. <laughs> Or also has the codes in it, you know, so you can actually open and unlock it like that. We don't know the code to it. Hey guys, I want to show you this Ford Explorer. It actually comes with a eight-cylinder engine. I believe it's a 4.6 liter. Um, it's actually very nice. It's got the digital code to try to get in, a DVD system. Um, you could actually you have some video outs as well if you want to put some 
uh, video displays on the headrests. It's got a third row seat in the back, which is very nice. And you could fold up the third row seat and the second seat um, to make a basically like a cargo area type of space. Um, got handles right here. Uh, it also got a tow hitch in the back. Um, it's very nice. This one is completely optioned out. I thought this thing to the left is um, a GPS, but it's not. That's actually a dash cam because it does have a backup camera. So it seems like somebody just installed it aftermarket. It does come with an F screen and you need like two uh, DVDs from Ford to actually put in there. So I'll be ordering those like from eBay or something. And in order to put it back, you just need to basically hit it over here on the right side of the screen. And it's actually going to slide right back. It's actually really cool because that has a DVD player, that has a navigation system. Um, this is a run and drive vehicle. It started right up, but it was actually hit so hard that the transmission lines got disconnected. And whenever you start it, it just leaks transmission fluid all over the floor. So I basically, you know, cut it off and stuff like that. Um, obviously this is a salvage and it does have dual climate control system here. Both airbags blown, comes with free sunglasses, uh, comes with a you know mirror on both sides. It looks like somebody put some plastic piece to hold um, on the side there. So plenty of stuff to do to it. Uh, it's actually really nice. So right now it's actually time for us to hook them up and get them home. And there's our Ford Explorer and our other Ford Edge. We basically hired two tow trucks to get three of these um, cars home, uh, all from the same company. So this one is a uh, Hall and, and Paul and another one is a rollback. So we actually just getting them home right now. This Ford Edge is a four-wheel drive type of vehicle, so that's actually very cool. But upon further inspection, it actually was not in the wreck. I think it was actually parked next to a burning building and it caught on fire somewhat. Uh, so underneath the hood, a lot of stuff is burnt. But in the morning, I was actually able to connect the battery to it and try to basically start it. But I think the timing belt has ripped so it immediately locked up because this is a V6 uh, engine so it's a timing belt I believe and instead of a timing chain so I just did like a two second little start it actually started spinning the starter and it whoop, locked off so surprisingly all the electrical you know it still works and everything so that's a good thing so this can actually make a pretty good parts car and this would actually be very easy to fix as far as uh, the bodywork on it, even though it's a 2010, I think it's um, it's not one uh, for me to actually fix it. There's just too much stuff to replace on it. I think it's not worth it. So I'm going to be parting it out, perhaps uh, buying one more just like it. I'm using some parts off of it, and obviously I'm going to be selling some parts. Over here, I'm basically observing um, the drive shaft it has been disconnected, and it's basically tied up with some bungee cords. We did not do that, it was already done like that, but apparently it did slide down just fine. My name is Serge Zamaleta, I'm 37 years old, and yes, I experienced success after buying my first home for cash. Back in 2011, I was broke, but I learned to solve problems on my own. Now I'm helping others to solve their problems. I know what pitfalls to avoid to stay profitable in business. Need motivation to be more successful in your life? Do you have Sprinter Expedite or business problems? Then subscribe. Let's find creative solutions to your problems. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my helpful videos.